come to this portion of Germany, I totally recommend it. We took this boat to this town. Today we are in... What are we about to go do? The main difference is I have noticed between Germany and the US. Prepare for some B-roll slow-mo. Welcome back to my channel. We have been back from Germany for a week. It's been a week since I filmed and over a week since I've posted. And that's a really long time for me. I normally try to post like three times a week and for some reason this week I just could not get it together. So I'm really, really sorry about that. We got home on Monday. Tim came home on Wednesday. The kids were still dealing with jet lag and it was just like a really hectic week. Things have been interesting and I have a lot to catch you guys up on. So we have to start off where we left off, which would be back in Germany. The last time you guys saw a vlog from us, we were in Wiesbaden and we were about halfway through our Germany trip. But the next day we went to Heidelberg. Today we are in Heidelberg. Super pretty outside and it's Tim's mom's birthday. So while we were in Heidelberg we went to this really awesome liquor store where they infused the liquor with like different fruits and different stuff and it was so good and it was super cheap. One thing about Germany that's different than the US is that the alcohol is so cheap. Wine is cheap, liquor is cheap, generally alcohol is cheaper there. That's definitely one thing I love about going there. What are we about to go do? To go to the castle. The castle, are you excited? Yeah, a real castle like that real princesses live in, or at least it used to. Heidelberg, which is like the castle there. It was a real castle though, y'all, like an actual castle where actual people used to live and do prince and princess stuff, which is super cool. We don't have cool old stuff like that here. So there's a ton of differences between the US and Germany, obviously. For example, in Germany, they don't give out straws with drinks. They also don't give out plastic cups. So my kids spend a lot of time drinking out of actual glassware. Even wine glasses sometimes for their water. It just seems like they're a lot more environmentally conscious, which is kind of interesting if you're used to getting a kid's cup at a restaurant, but really it makes a lot of sense because that kind of stuff just gets thrown away. They also don't have kids menus at most restaurants, which leads me to believe that most people probably don't bring their kids out to eat with them, which I think is a great idea. <laughs> Cause sometimes going out to eat with your kids is not the most fun. Also, sometimes even when it says it's gonna be warm, you're still gonna freeze. Although that might just be me because I am from Florida and it's always hot here. Good morning everyone. Today we are on cruise on the Rhine River and I'm freezing to death. It's a little windy but I think it'll get warmer later. Today is Saturday and we leave on Monday, so today we are out doing this boat cruise. Gonna stop, go through a town, and then get back on the boat and go back to where we came from.
huge difference about Germany is that there's super old history. Like there's stuff there that goes back to way before the US was even thought of. I'm a huge nerd and I love that kind of ish. So I had a great time exploring and seeing all these castles that we saw during our river cruise. It was amazing. It was so cool. Like just one of those things in your mind that you're just never gonna forget. to this town called St. Gore. Got out, walked around for a little while. It's very nice this time. It's gotten a lot warmer, the sun is out. We're doing pretty good. Having a much better time on the way back. We're not freezing our butts off. There's this like little slide and two little play things for the kids to play on and they're having a really good time. Cadence has made some friends and is having really a lot of fun, I think. So it's been going good. It is 9.15 at night and it's super light outside. I'm sitting literally outside on the patio. Anyway, I wanna to talk to you guys real quick about something I find really interesting. The main differences I have noticed between Germany and the US. Service is different here than the US. I don't wanna say it's slow because it's normal for here, but compared to the US, like service out to eat is very different. It's very slow paced. Servers aren't like constantly checking on you, which <laughs> really kind of cracks me up because honestly, some of the people that I deal with when I work as a bartender in the service industry would literally die if they came here because the service is so different. Like people complain about the stupidest things with service in the US. Another thing I've noticed is that most people speak another language. Everybody here that I've encountered, at least 95% of the people here that I've encountered speak English or there is someone within like 10 feet of them that speaks English. While I think that's really nice as a visitor here, it also makes me realize that like the US is way far behind on that. Like no, but hardly anyone in the US speaks a second language. I mean, some people do of course, but like ev almost everyone here does. In fact, Cadence encountered children today that were her age that speak a second language, and I just think that's awesome. So, I feel like we need to catch up on that. There are a ton of other things, but those are just some of the first ones I can think of off the top of my head. I've loved Germany so far. I just think it's interesting to see the differences between the US and Germany. I would absolutely move to Germany if I could, but circumstances just do not allow that. Just one of the big main things that I noticed that I thought was really interesting. So on our last day in Germany, we went to this really awesome castle called Berg Elts. Now I found this place on Instagram and that was the first place I ever saw it and I was dying over it because it's just so cute. in Germany going to Berg Elts. If you ever come to Germany, I recommend it, but my one piece of advice is to go early. I got some awesome pictures and Cadence was convinced that Sleeping Beauty lived there, which was really cute. So tomorrow we are leaving Germany and heading back to Florida. I'm excited to go home because Tim comes home two days after we get back. So we get home on Monday, he comes home on Wednesday. Not excited for the flight. Little nervous. Callie is just a mess on flights and this one is 11 hours and then we get to Dallas and then we have another two hour flight to Florida so pray for me by the time you guys see this we'll probably already be home so hopefully I will have made it I mean I'm sure I'm gonna make it but I just feel like super anxious about it the rest of today is gonna be spent getting everything together I just weighed my suitcases I am a little bit under so that's good on my big suitcase. I did buy several bottles of wine, so that's probably why. It's pretty quiet out today. Still 
Germany. So we are leaving Germany this morning. It is 9.15, so we leave uh, in about an hour and 45 minutes to get on our 11 hour flight to Dallas. We are sad to say goodbye to Germany, but excited to get home finally, if I can make it to this flight. Hi, boots. So now we're to the end of our Germany trip and a few more differences that I want to mention before we end this vlog is that the fridges in Germany are much smaller than the ones in the US and they don't really have big freezers like we do here. There is generally less ingredients in packaged food. For example, Tim's sister bought a soda and there had there was like five ingredients in it. Probably because a lot of the stuff we have in the US is like really bad for you. Another thing is children are way more independent. You see them getting on and off public transportation by themselves, walking through the city by themselves, going places after school and whatnot all by themselves. Like you would never let your kid do that here, but there it is perfectly acceptable and extremely normal, which I think is really cool actually. Like I wish we were had the ability to do that here. Another big difference, if you haven't been to Germany or Europe, I don't know if all of Europe is like this, but everywhere that I've been was, you have to pay to use the bathroom. Like to use a public restroom, you have to pay about 50 cents. And it makes sense to me if you think about it because it keeps the bathroom clean and then, you know, people don't just like mess it up because if you're going in there, you have to pay to go in there. So for me, it makes a lot of sense. But that's a huge difference that a lot of people, if you've never been there, you wouldn't know. Those are just some of the random differences I've noticed. There's a ton, obviously. I mean, everything is different, but I love Germany. We had a great time and I'm sure we'll go back again at some point in the future. I think it's really interesting to go to different places and see different cultures and see how they are and just to see the differences between cultures. I would totally recommend traveling if you have not, just to see the different things. It gives you such a different perspective on things here and it just makes you realize that there's so many different ways to do things. And I feel like even though it sucks to take your kids traveling, internationally sometimes it's totally worth it because they are exposed to different cultures and i think that that is awesome one thing about traveling internationally with kids is that the plane ride can be a little rough we made it but just barely through our plane ride and i would say just don't be afraid to drink wine on the plane because you're gonna need it <laughs> helps you relax a little bit and then it's not as serious and stressful so that catches you up to present day right now we are about to have a hurricane well about to have a tropical storm come at us so it should be at least interesting sort of i don't know it's gonna rain on us next weekend i go to my bachelorette party so that'll be exciting we've had like a week of downtime and it's been nice to not vlog because i literally vlogged for like seven days in a row and that's a long time i don't know how daily vloggers do it i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this catch up and i will see you guys in our next video if you have a comment you know where to put it and that's it for today guys we should be back to our regularly scheduled vlogging after this video. Stay tuned for a new vlog coming out. All right, bye guys.